Hello, my name is Tom and I'm one of the members of Path Evangelism team. Today I'm going to show you how you can build simple peer-to-peer -peer chat. So what do you have to do for this? First of all, you need to get that de uh, beta developer key from the Stratus Labs page. So you just go here and uh, click sign up for a Stratus beta developer key and you get it. I've already got one here, so uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to work with it already. So uh, first of all, you have to lay out some uh, components so uh, it actually looks like chat, you know. So uh, I have here my text history and also text message field and sending button. So uh, when you go to source code, it looks like, it looks like this. And uh, we can see that there's a server which is uh, pointing to stratus.adobe.com with rtmfp protocol. And then we also include our developer key here, like that. So first of all, we have to connect to the server. So this is what we do by defining function connect and also initializing net connection. So we create variable net connection of type net connection obviously and uh, we just uh, initialize it. New net connection like this. And now we just uh, register the listener for a net status event like this. We have to create a function as well. And uh, we just include an net status event like this. So finally, uh, we are in net status and we just write a message we get from the net status. So it's event info, mess uh, it's event info code. And uh, the next thing we are actually going to do a connection to the server, so like this. Net connection, connect. And we include server plus dev key, like this. So once we are in net status, we just switch the event info code. And uh, in case it's uh, net connection, connect, success, which means we are successfully connected to the straight service, we just set up the group like this and we also break it. So now we have to add the setup group function where we do two things. First of all, we have to define so-called group specifier, which defines what you can actually do with the net group. It's type group specifier and uh, we initialize it and we include a group name like this. So my group, let's say it's gonna be G0. And uh, we also enable the posting. So posting means that you can actually broadcast message to the participants of the group. So we change it to true. And we also enable server channel, which means that uh, this is essential thing for the communication, which enables you to work with the server actually. So uh, th the next thing we have to do here is define the actual net group. of type net group. Oh, again, we initialize it. We connect it with the net connection and we also pass this spec, group spec with authorizations. Uh, there is also a difference between group spec with authorizations and without authorizations, but you don't have to care about this now. It's all about the security of the groups. And we also register the listener, net status event, net status, like this. That's pretty much it. Now we have to uh, do two more functions. One of them is going to send a message to the group and one of them is going to receive the message from the group. So how does it work? First of all, we create function called send message and uh, we'll pass the string to it, like this. We have to construct the message object. So we just write message, object, new object, 
and the message object should contain some uh, information uh, about the text <clears throat> and also uh, some information about the user. So we pass username, which is going to be txt user text and also um, some sender ID so we can actually, we would like to connect or uh, send direct message to the to the sender who actually broadcasted this message. So if you want to do that, you can include sender ID and uh, it's going to be net connection near ID. You can also convert this near ID to group ID like that, which is pretty useful. Net group and convert peer ID to group address like this. So finally, we are pretty much done. We just post the message to the net group. And uh, now we are going to receive it. So um, we define function receive uh, message. It's uh, going to handle that uh, message object. And uh, finally, we just write text message username. Yeah, so you can see that uh, this is what we have already defined and message text like that. Also, the one thing you actually broadcast the message to the group, but you don't receive it. So uh, what you have to do here is receive message message like that. Okay, we are pretty much done. The last thing we have to do here is actually receive the message. Uh, and the message uh, you, you actually receive the message in the net status. So uh, this is what happens in a case when net group posting gets notified. Something like that. Yeah. So net group posting notify, and we pass to the receive message function. We pass this event info message variable like that. Also the last thing to make it more useful and more prettier to the application itself, you can also handle that group connect success as well. And for instance, like switch uh, tech connected to true like that. So now uh, the connected uh, is actually connected with uh, this button here, so uh, it gets enabled when the connected is true. By default, it's false. So at the final state, we are going to test the application and see if it works. So we go and just press the run button, and we write a message, and we hit send, and we can see now that uh, it's received. The same we can do from the other window, so the way back, it works as well. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So uh, I hope it was easy to use and uh, I'm actually looking forward to seeing more and more applications using peer-to-peer -peer in the future. If you want, you can go to my blog flashrealtime.com and see more related articles on this topic. Thank you.